Hello everyone, I'm Eugene and this episode will tell you about the studio session when I recorded the fourth album of the Polish death metal band Banisher. The recording took place in Bydgoszcz, Poland at Advanced Sound Studio, but before we got there first we had to pick up the drum kit that we were supposed to use for the recording session. So on my way from Vienna to Bydgoszcz we stopped in Kalisz at Music Partners store. Music partners, Arek was kind enough to provide us with a beautiful Japanese made Sakai maple drum kit. We got new heads for the recording, of course. To protect the kit inside the car, we used a sleeping bag. This lesson was already covered in an older episode. Tip number 10 Stage clothes might protect your car windows. Yes. It's awesome. Yes, we have arrived. Floor 11. No elevator. Suck at drums. I haven't been in too many studios in my life, but to me the Invent Sound Studio in Bitgush looked as a normal one with all the necessities one might need to record an album. The only unusual thing for me was that the drum kit was on a riser. Tip number 40. If you have to carry a whole set of new drum heads to a studio, tape them to a Roland Symbol Vault or a suitcase. I would like to introduce to you Piotrek, whom you might have seen before in previous episodes, and Micha, both from Drum Service, who came to the studio to help prepare and tune the kit for the recording. I didn't really understand much of what they were doing. Some advanced drum science stuff for sure. Message to Arek. We're drilling some holes in the kit because we don't like the way it looks. <laughs> Is that like a hair dryer? I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to show you from this drum tuning know-how, so I hope you will make the most of it. Oh, oh, that was painful. They also use some special honey wax so that the drum head sticks better to the shell. Before tuning a drum, they wanted to figure out at what frequency the shell resonates the best. What I said now might be complete nonsense, but at least that's how I understood it. So the guys used this special device to determine the frequency. It's like the whales in the ocean. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, there, probably in that box. Yeah, because the snare is here, is that the snare? No? Yeah, no. Wow, basics. Oh, oh, no, no. Friendly neighborhood. This is the observation room. Interrogation room. Vracaj do prace, k***a. At day zero we are just chilling. The guys are tuning the drums. They said we need four hours. Four hours? What? Give me that drum key. I can tune it in ten minutes. So what if it's not gonna sound good? Work, work, eat, eat. Me gusta. Good job. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is day number one, Monday. This has been one of my most relaxed and enjoyable studio experiences so far. I will just quickly go through the gear I used that some of you might find interesting. Almighty Maple Sakai drum, 22 inch kick drums, 10, 12 rack toms, 16 floor tom, 14 inch by 6.5 snare. <coughs> Excuse me. The mini china 
12 inch 2002 PSD 7 14 light hi hat a signature fast crash 16 inch the alpha thin splash signature 18 fast crash and also Shimon the sound guy no he's not from the Beisty series 2002 medium hi hat 14 inch Beisty 2002 16 inch China and the loudest guy of them all the Eclipse Mega Power Ride 24 inch Peisty Rude Axis A21 a Saber with Microtune Spring Tensioner and E Kits using the Marksman Beater Vader Shudder Drumsticks Sure 315 in your monitors. Like lots of microphones, I have no clue about. I'm gonna both mic the kick and trigger, and we even got a sub kick there. Right now, first time in the studio ever using the Yamaha DTX502 trigger module with my regular Mackie 4 VLZ. That's it. from the cave. <laughs> we are back with our tap water chronicles. <laughs> Good morning. Day two. Weather is shit. I'm going to the studio now. Novitam. Novi. Today was also productive, mentally tired, uh, especially from, from this guy and his ACDC ideas. <laughs> Five star hostel, trying to charge my phone. Not gonna happen. <laughs> this video draws to an end, so I would like to thank again Arek and music partners for the drum kit, Piotr and Michal from Drum Service for the amazing job they did to prepare and tune the kit, and last but not least Shimon and the Invent Sound Studio for pushing my limits as a drummer in order to make a solid record, yet at the same time make me feel really comfortable and supported in the studio. Zapiakanka s pecharkami from Zapka. Classic. Before I got back home to Vienna I almost missed my bus cause we got a flat tire on our way, but nothing we couldn't handle. I'll be honest, I'm pretty good at that. Filming other people at work. I hope this episode brought some variety to the series and you were able to enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe because I will be back with more videos in the nearest future. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Eugene, out. Still here? Make sure you check out these as well.